Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, oh man, I kind of have to repeat history here. So a few days ago, I made this map for a YouTuber called Lonnie and it's for one of the uh, free donation or please donate games where like you go and you set up a stand and then people can like donate Robux to you and uh, hey, it was all good and we're done. No, uh, my scripter hit me up and said, hey bro, I want to make a please donate game. Can you make us a map? So I was like, oh man, I just, I just made a map. Anyways, uh, of course we're not going to be doing park theme again because now there is a park themed one. So I'm making, or I guess we are making our own please donate game. And uh, we're going to hope for the best. I think I'm going to do futuristic theme just because I never really do that. And I'm pretty excited for it. I do love this stand in the middle, and I wish I could reuse it, but out of respect for him, I'm not going to reuse uh, assets that were made specifically for this map. Of course, the trees, uh, he allowed me to reuse from other stuff, so hey, I'm still using my trees if I need to. But let's hop out of here, and uh, we have to start on a futuristic one. So here is uh, here's our starting point. I'm thinking I want to have overly a dark map with a bunch of bright neon stuff. I think that's the goal for it, and uh, I genuinely don't have many ideas for this map yet either. Let's see what textures we have for the ground. Now, we are doing a futuristic type of vibe, so I kind of like I kind of like this idea for the ground. We'll see how it looks on the green. It might look horrible, but uh, we can definitely check it out. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, I think I'll put this at 0.95 make it a little more faint um we we might change this later on guys but for now it'll be okay up next we definitely need our spot for uh you know players so let's make this kind of like the spawn circle here and then we will get the uh or, or the position of this and paste it into here and that's just gonna make sure it is exactly in the center i'll move that up a little bit and it probably is going to have to be a little bit bigger. Let me bring in a dummy as well so I can see sort of what we're working with size-wise. Um, that actually might be okay. I think I'm going to scale that down. Um, because I do want a big statue in the middle, I think. All right, we'll, we'll run with something like this for now. All right, so I've been working on this just a little bit. And I was struggling for a second to find like a different sort of layout. Uh, I did go a little more futuristic with this one. And the walls are uh sort of like you're gonna be in a dome i think it'd be really cool to take a half circle with the force field effect and put it over the top of the whole thing uh we may see how that looks but as of right now i just gotta kind of color some stuff in so for this one let's go ahead and make it that darker color since it is the bottom and then the inner ones i have an idea i think for the inner ones i'm gonna do like a black and then for this middle one, I'm going to go back to the normal gray, like the, the path gray. So something like this. Um, and I think for these, I want to go to like a solid black um, and not like just the normal one. So I'm going to grab all of the parts here. And I believe it's 45. Oh, I grabbed the wrong set. All right, just like this. And then right here, I think it's 45 comma 45 comma 45. Yep, that is definitely a lot darker. And then for this set here... I want to go back to that gray so now we have something like this and i think it's looking pretty cool i think i want to put a sort of a beam uh not a beam let's duplicate this use uh f3x and we're gonna scale it on both sides let's just uh set this to like i don't know five boom down one up one we'll go down one and down one again <laughs> i kind of messed up on my words but it's okay and then we're gonna bring this in uh we need to switch this to maybe like one yeah, we'll bring that in and then set these to that same black like this. And then we need to duplicate it again. I know, guys, this is so many parts, uh, but hey, we're, we're working with it. Drag this in, drag this somewhere like skip to. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's make these uh, like green or yellow. I think yellow would be cooler. And then neon, something like that. And we'll do two strips, I think. Looks like we have more space on the top than the bottom. Maybe one more up. I'm going to put this at like 0.5, um, just like this, and then move it down one. I think that is about even, so we'll keep it like that for now. I definitely... Uh, let me group this together. Yellow. And I'm going to have to group this other one as well, just to kind of keep myself a little organized, keep my sanity. All right, is this all of them? 
Yep, got that set. So let's do control J and we're just gonna name this yellow as well. All right, so now we have like the uh, the basic layout and don't worry about out here. No one's gonna be able to see that. You're gonna be in here the whole time. So now that we have the basic layout, we could start making some assets. I'm not exactly sure on, uh, on what I wanna do. I know we need the stands and we need leaderboards. Oh, I, I just, I don't know. Hey guys, so I was working on a little stand and I feel like I was going a little too complex. I'm not too sure if we would actually be able to use something like this. So I'm gonna tame it down a little bit, but still try to keep that futuristic feel. First things first, let's grab a circle, put this onto like eight sides like so. We'll do something like that and then add a solidify modifier. That could be pretty thick. Let's just make it 0.5 so it's uh, oh, 0.05, just like that. Then I want to add a loop around it to bring those out a little bit. Nice. Now I'm just duplicating these a little bit and scaling them in. So this will give us a cool hover effect. Scale all those down. All right. So we have our little hover things and I think I need to uh, stretch these a little more. Let's do S and Z just to kind of like we want those to be quite a bit more pronounced. And I think I will uh, just drag them up a little bit. Now for even spacing, uh, I'm just going to kind of, I could use a ray or something, but I think three blocks in between each should work a-okay. There we go. And we can always scale this stuff down later. I just personally like working uh, when things are a bit bigger. Let me scale all of those in as well, just so they're like pretty, pretty meaty. <laughs> Let's join those together. All right, so the stand idea has evolved to this. I'm thinking up here is where you would have your listed products or what you're selling, uh, what people are giving you Robux for, and that may need to be just a little bit thinner. Let's see, we'll, uh, we'll do that real quick. Just grab the top here and shrink it down. Probably something more along those lines, and then right here is where you can type out your message, uh, AKA how you're going to beg. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty much what we got there. I think these need to come down a little bit and possibly be more spaced out from each other. So I'm going to grab all of the top ones and move them up a little. And then I'm going to grab all of the bottom ones and move them down a little, something like that. And then of course we'll just color this stuff in studio. I think I will texture most of it in blender, but some parts are going to be neon. For example, this, oh gosh, this strip is going to be neon. So let's do P selection, this pad right here. So we'll do control plus P selection. Uh, the rest of that's going to be one color. These, we could join those together. Uh, I guess we could actually join that with these as well. Because those will all be neon, uh, probably blue. All right, got everything in selections how it needs to be. We're going to export as an FBX and uh, see you in studio. Hey, so the map is coming along pretty good. I definitely got to do some more color changes. Uh, I may disable shadows on everything right here. Oh, is there going to be a... I don't think there's really going to be an easy way to do this. Oh, yeah, there is. I got this. So look, look, look. Control U, cast shadows. Anyways, uh, that didn't work. I'm going to get all the uh, shadows turned off and then start filling in the map with props, do the final colors that I'm going to pick, and then we should be wrapping this one up and pretty close to done, but uh, futuristic donation game coming in hot. Sheesh, your boy is back, and guys, I'm pretty happy with how this map turned out. Very, very simplistic, but I love the feel, so check this out. If we click play and have... It's just a real nice open world. Ignore the uh, the unanchored stuff up there. I gotta throw that away, basically, okay? Like, like, it's going in the trash can. Anyways, I think I did a really good job, not to pat myself on the back too much, but I think I did a great job with the lighting in this map. Uh, I just, I really like it. I really like it. I toned down the forest field effect quite a bit, and I added in some... Uh, atmosphere as well as a skybox because atmosphere does not work without a skybox and then some color correction that i did here and uh i think it looks actually great it's not super bright it's easy on the eyes we have a bunch of neon there's a few cool things i did uh some tactics like this we have three different neon parts getting slightly more transparent as you go up to kind of give that futuristic uh, hologram-esque effect, I guess you could call it. But guys, check this out. It's looking really, really good. And I'm thinking by the time you see this video, the game will be out. So I'll link it down below in the description. It looks, uh, it looks pretty good. 
The scripter made this stuff float? I can already claim a booth? Look at that. Road Builder's booth. Zero Robux earned. And I wanted to have an open feel in here. So, like, players could be down here and they could, you know, emote or dance or do whatever they want to do. And uh, you can actually see their character. I feel uh, it's more of a personal connection, which might sound weird, but hey. Um, give money. <laughs> G give money. <laughs> there we go. Apply. And, uh, ooh, there's, there's gonna be some, okay, there's, like, a bunch of stuff that I didn't even know about, but I think the game will be out by the time you guys see this video, so definitely check out the description if you want to check out the game, and hey, you might even earn some free Robux. If the game is out, I will personally be joining random servers and giving Robux to a bunch of random people. Let's get it, guys. We all getting some money out here. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.